Today we gather to pay tribute to those who fought and served on Iwo Jima and throughout the entire Pacific Theater during World War II. March 16th marked the 60th anniversary of declaring Iwo Jima secure. So it was only fitting that Iwo Jima veterans come together 60 years later at the foot of the Pacific War Memorial on Kaneohe Bay. One of the Iwo Jima veterans there was Harry Hawkins. In 1945, he found himself on Iwo Jima and watched as the American flag was raised atop Mount Saribachi. You know, there was five great Marines and one Navy corpsman to put that flag up. But every man on that island, every Marine and every corpsman put that flag up. Veterans and Marines spent time with each other before the ceremony, swapping war stories and experiences as they ate together at a chow hall on base. The ceremony also marked the third anniversary of the Pacific War Memorial that now sits at the front entrance to the base. Visitors from throughout the world will continue to come here to see this memorial. They will read the panel inscriptions. They will see the names of the brooks in the walkway of honor and on the bronze acknowledgement plaque. They will think of the men who fought freedom's battle on Iwo Jima, of those who fought for freedom elsewhere, and of those who are out there on the front lines fighting for our freedom even today. And here we are exactly three years later, under these same type of sunny skies, honoring the same Americans who fought and died on Iwo Jima. Corporal Jeremy Vaught, Marine Corps Base, Kaneohe Bay, Hawaii.